See what it goes Your for. Your watch item is next on the block. Pretty sure it might go a little higher than what I want it to. Right now we at 275. See if somebody bid. Has a savage title. Needs a little work done to it. But hey. We just got it. 275. We won it. Dang. 275, guys. Y'all seen it right there. We just won the bid for $275. Mm. Hey, I'm going to show you all the damage in a minute. All righty, guys. This is the 05 Sebring. We won the Copart. Uh, you can see it got a little damage right there. But I'm not too concerned about that damage right there. Let's click on the pictures. Go through the pictures real fast. All right, we see you got the little damage. This side is pinned up on this side. See the little damage on the back doors. That does say this car is a running driving car. See the damage right there. Now, the back door would probably be the only door that will get changed. Unless that front door has more damage than I can see right now. But from what it looks like, there's no frame damage. So, we're just going to roll as of right now. We're just going to change that back door. I already found it at the local junkyard for 150 bucks, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna try to pull it apart, see if I can find it cheaper. This side is pretty clean, as you can see. Just again, that front bumper hanging a little bit. Interior, pretty clean. But man, you never know with these Copart cars. Get in person and look a whole totally different car, man. Pretty clean. Engine looks pretty clean. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Dusty, but you know, clean. We have 152,000 miles. 152. From what we can see, no service lights. That's from what we can see. Again, that's the damage you can see better. Like I said, Look like a little side swipe. Nothing too bad. Doesn't look like it hit the pillar. So we hoping that is no frame damage. And we can just remove the door, put the door on, and be good to go. Like I said, we will find out once we pick the vehicle up. Just with these Copart cars, you never know. Like this is another one that's going to be bought uh, sight unseen. Like I said, I, you know, I've been buying them without looking at them. So this would be another one that is brought sight unseen. So hopefully there's no hidden damage on this vehicle. We did get it for $275, which isn't bad. So it comes out to a little over 500 bucks. The door another 150. So all together we might be 500, 150, 650. You know, get the title switched over. Well, might be a little over 700 into it. Not bad. It's, it's 05 with 150,000 miles. You can at least almost double your money on it, selling it quick. But we'll get into that later on a different vehicle. Once again, we're going to look over the car once again. Like I said, 152,000 miles. They do have it running right now, so at least we know it started. When it got to Copart, when they did the inspection on it, as, as you see, the RPMs are at 1,000 almost. So it does run from the time it arrived to Copart. The engine again. Interior. Pretty clean. Aluminum rims all the way around it. Like I said, that door, swap that door out. Might change the front one. We're going to see once we look at it in person. Self tap that bumper back up. And yeah, it's going to be a good car, man. Got a little tinted windows on it. If the AC doesn't work, I'm going to try to fix it as best as I can because the AC is must, man. You must have the AC working when you're trying to sell a car. So if you can fix the AC for cheap, fix it. 
As long as you can fix that AC and still make a profit on it, go ahead and do it. Because I'm telling you, it will save you a lot of time. Because usually that's one of the first questions you're going to get is, does the AC work? And if your AC doesn't work and you in a hundred degree weather, I'm telling you, it's 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 not going to sell fast for you. So fix the AC, please. It's it'll save you a lot of headache. But yeah, alrighty guys, that's it, man. So just showing you guys the new vehicle that'll be coming to the channel. We'll pick it up here soon and go from there, man. Also, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell, like, share, because that does help the channel to continue to buy these vehicles and bring you guys this content and helpful information on far as starting a dealership or even just making money on the side on the weekend, bringing in a couple extra dollars for you. So please subscribe, like, share, hit the bell.